Thank you for spending time with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. It is getting more active. That is to be expected, but there's one area in particular I want to watch. It's this third tropical wave. This one has a better chance of developing. So in this video, I want to show you the American model and the European model, zoom out and show you long term how this spot here is going to try to develop. Will it become a tropical storm or hurricane? I'm not quite sure yet, but as it moves across, it does have a better chance of developing into a named system. So I wanna give you the overall feel on what I'm seeing with that and kind of the timing of that area. Couple more tropical waves, one trying to work, a new one trying to work its way into the Eastern Caribbean today. I wanna to highlight the areas of rain. We're watching the spot in the Northern Gulf and heavier rain parts of Central America. Belize, for example, zoom down in just a second. We have some heavier rain. I was mentioning Friday would be the day to get some heavier rain, and that's already been moving in for some of us. You can see it right here, watching the Yucatan Peninsula as well. Not as much Merida, Campeche, but Cozumel, Cancun, back through Belize City, Ladyville, Hopkins, all Punta Gorda, seeing that better chance of rain. Northern sections of Honduras will watch over toward uh, Rotan, for example. Some really heavy rain close to the uh, Cayman Islands, over toward Grand Cayman. This will be building and bringing us a better flood threat, even parts of Guatemala, monitoring Colombia and Panama. Here's that new tropical wave that will be moving in today. So you see that busier pattern. Let me zoom down real quickly here into Belize in northern Honduras because that's where we have a flood threat. It's not a name system, but this is what I've been highlighting really over the last week and a half that we'd start to get that better chance of rain. Here's Guatemala, get over toward Mexico. Here's Belize, and you see these brighter colors popping up. Some of the black and red shading right in through here. Uh, San Pedro over toward Belize City, down through uh, Big Creek, here's Punta Gorda. Then you swing back toward, uh, uh, say, Roatan, uh, northern sections of Honduras. But this shading right in here we're talking about 150 millimeters of rain to 20 millimeter or 200 millimeters of rain or 20 centimeters of rain in this area here. So six to eight inches of some rain. You get the idea no matter where you live, if you get six to eight inches of rain or up to 200 millimeters of rain, that's a lot of rain for three a three day total. And that's going to happen mainly today, right? So giving you the heads up, we're going to see some areas of flooding. I appreciate this weather community so much. It's so huge. It's one of the biggest around. With with that, you can put your location in the comments and what weather you have. So I'll be going through the comments section as we go throughout the uh, day together. Here's the bigger picture. This area here, I was never really expecting development as we talked about because of wind shear, uh, land uh, that uh, it would kind of work its way into land. It wouldn't have time to develop, but still parts of Louisiana more so swinging back toward Texas, better chance of rain northeastern Mexico as we go throughout the day. So I'll highlight this area in just a second. There's an old spin to the north northeast of Bermuda. Not seeing development out of that. And there were some big flooding rains over toward parts of Missouri. I want to show you the severe weather threat again today. And even back through the Atlantic region of Canada, parts of New England over toward Cape Cod, a severe weather threat. Let me show you this though. I, as promised, I want to show you the possibility of some development as we go forward. So here we are in the Caribbean right here. This is the next 10 days, the European model. I like this map because it's it's pretty clear, right? Uh, here is Trinidad, you get over toward uh, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Barbuda. This here is the chance of a tropical storm developing over the next 10 days. It's shown that little spot to the northeast of Bermuda, uh, but again, that is not a concern. But this in through here is picking up on that new tropical wave I mentioned coming off the coast of Africa, and it's saying, hey, this has about a 20, 30, maybe 40% chance of developing into a tropical storm. So it's not a definite thing, uh, but this is one of the, this is the highest chance as far as something coming off the coast of Africa uh, developing we've had so far this season. So as of now, about a 20 to 30 30% chance that this area becomes a tropical storm. That's what the European model is showing, and I don't just look at the models, I look at everything in the environment, and I agree with that. As of now, I'd put it at about a 20 to 30% chance of developing into a tropical storm. Now, there's also some of the dust around, but the dust, June and July are the dust seasons. There's always some dust to contend with. It's a myth that the dust uh, completely prevents development, but it does help because it is with dry air. We've had some pockets of dust around. This is going a week out in time here, so I know it's going a little bit quickly, but there's really no significant 
significant areas of dust. We've seen some right over the last two days in the northern uh, Caribbean and northeastern Caribbean. Uh, down the road, this is by the time we get into early August, there is going to be a pocket of dust uh, moving across, but it's not super thick. It doesn't have those yellows in it, but this would be a pocket of dry air. That is the same time that this new tropical wave will be working across. So it will be battling some dust and dry air. That's why it may uh, struggle at developing, which would be a good thing, uh, but that's kind of the long-term prospects. I am watching the dry air and some of the dust, uh, but also there's a lot of ingredients, the water temperatures, the depth of the warm water, all that science-y stuff uh, that I really look at the, uh, uh, behind the scenes. So let me show you the American model, then the European model will go long-term. I'm going to zoom down into the Caribbean Gulf and then where that severe weather is in this video as well. You can see some of the rain here, uh, even getting over toward the Bay of Campeche. Uh, but these are the three areas I'm watching. Not that all three are developing. In fact, two are definitely not. One could. It's the one coming off the coast of Africa. So let's go long term here. And then I want to stop the clock. You see, as we get into late July, this is by Thursday. So we're looking almost a week from now. Here is that area that we'll try to develop. But I mentioned, and I just showed you, to the north, there will be some dust and dry air that will be again squeaking back toward the northeastern Caribbean. So here's that spot of some of the heavier rain that will try to develop. Now the American model does probably try to make this at this point a tropical depression. This here is a week from now and then watching again, sometimes the patterns get stuck, heavier rain back toward the northern Gulf, back toward Texas again, Louisiana, parts of Mississippi, not necessarily development, uh, but it is a spot I'll keep an eye on, at least for some flooding. And then as we work our way into next weekend, so this is next Saturday, this is August 2nd. You could see some heavier rain moving in. It would look like more of the northern and central sections of our islands in the Eastern Caribbean. This is just to give you a feel. It's not definite. In fact, the American model is not showing this as a tropical storm at this point, but this gives you a feel that by next weekend, there could be a system, some sort of system, either a name system or really heavy rain nearby for some of our islands. So as we go over the next few days through the weekend, I'll be able to fine tune this because this is important because if it does spin up a little bit quickly, it could become a name system. This is normal though to watch areas this time of year. We're about to get into uh, August. There's going to be a lot to uh, track out there. And we'll just go step by step as we uh, go forward. I got you covered here on this channel and I'll show you where things may go, but also where they may not go to help reduce uh, anxiety. Sometimes you get uh, some other entities that make it look like everything's going to hit everyone. That's, that's not the case. Now, this is a different map. I know this one's a little bit uh, tougher to see, uh, but this here is the European model. We have, here we are in the Caribbean. So Barbados, get back through St. Lucia, Dominica, Trinidad, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, coast of Africa over there. You get these tropical waves this time of year. You get the uh, global trade winds, so things come off the coast of Africa. For Europe, for example, things come off the coast of uh, Canada and the uh, U.S. Now, this here is by Tuesday. So this is Tuesday uh, as we work our way into July 29th. You can see this area here, high pressure to the north, but it kind of nudges off. That it, high pressure acts like a blocker. So high pressure is here. Uh, it will allow this area to work its way toward the west. It blocks it from kind of lifting to the north. That's typical for this time of year. But here we are in the Caribbean. Let's go out in time even more so, and then we'll stop the clock as we work our way into August, right? This is uh, by about Friday and Saturday of next week. So we're talking uh, August 1st, August 2nd, matching up with the American model. We have this area here, high pressure nudges off again a little bit. That may allow this to curl a bit more uh, toward the uh, north, north of west, uh, but the European model is showing an area to watch. Now, what I'm seeing out of this is even if it doesn't develop, it looks like we're going to have a big kind of blob of rain, big area of rain. We don't need a name system to give us the flooding. So either way, we're going to have some rather significant weather for some of us as we work our way uh, deep into next week and next weekend. Now, maybe down here, maybe it stays more to the north and just kind of clips us uh, by, uh, but we'll see if it develops together as we get into upcoming videos. And then over the next few days, I'll fine tune uh, where this area of rain may go and how much it may develop. I'll let you know right here first. And then of course, we'll be watching more tropical waves back behind 
as we do as we go through August, September, October, sometimes November could be very active. We've seen that the last few years. So we're just kind of still at the beginning of the hurricane season and we're about to get into the uh, busier time. Now, here's a closer look. Then I want to swing to the north and then show you some of the rain totals. Here's that first tropical wave that I'm not seeing development. That'll keep us busy across parts of the uh, Eastern Caribbean with some rain and storms at times. Here's some of the heavier weather, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, that rain chance picking up, Nicaragua, not quite as much in Western sections, Costa Rica, Panama, still some rain. So there's that busier pattern into tomorrow as well for Central America, spotty showers with a tropical wave, uh, Guadalupe, uh, Martinique, we'll see some, not as much St. Kitts and Eve but we could get a couple showers, hit or miss thunderstorms on uh, Jamaica. We may get a few not widespread yet but still some of us getting storms. Now by Sunday, you could see here a few areas of rain we're watching, but that second tropical wave gets closer. So we'll keep an eye on that second tropical wave. It's really that third area that I'm watching for development. And there's some of the additional rain in uh, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. And here's some of the rain across Mexico with that area from the Gulf moving in. That's going to enhance kind of that almost monsoon flow in parts of Mexico. Got you covered. We'll be highlighting some of those uh, rain totals in just a moment. Swinging to the north, you could see here the Atlantic region of Canada down through parts of New England, Cape Cod and the islands. Some strong thunderstorms will be possible today. I'll be watching your comments. Missouri got hit really hard with flooding yesterday. Keeping an eye on another area near Missouri. Uh, and here's that area that will move toward a uh, Beaumont, Houston, down through uh, Corpus Christi with some rain. But that kind of slides in as we work our way into tomorrow. Then tomorrow, Ontario, Quebec, watching out for some storms dropping through parts of the uh, Great Lakes. Some of those could be rather strong, uh, big downpours that could lead to some additional flooding. And then by Sunday, that area pushes off again toward Cape Cod, uh, Newfoundland. We could get a couple showers passing by coming out of Manitoba over toward Minnesota. There are some more storms around and there's that flow in parts of a Mexico still trying to lift into New Mexico with that chance of some additional rain. Rain totals in a moment, but I do want to sh show you the seas. They will be choppier, bit choppier uh, from uh, Jamaica South and then off to the east as well. Keeping that chop around. This is through Sunday and getting into Monday. Here's Monday and a Tuesday. The Atlantic passageways with that second tropical wave will be elevated. So if you have interest on the waters, Monday and Tuesday, Eastern Caribbean Atlantic passageways will be a bit rougher. So monitoring that. Now, as far as the rain totals go, here's some of that rain that will work its way uh, back toward the Houston area where we could get some spots, a couple inches of some rain. Sometimes it doesn't take uh, too long around the Houston area to get some flood. So just giving you the heads up, there'll be some active weather as we go throughout the day around Bahamas. Not as much as I was showing you yesterday, a rain chance has dropped off. The rain chance just simply lower. Hit or miss Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. But if we get a storm, it could be strong. Puerto Rico, Jamaica with the daytime heating, we could get a couple stronger storms around and then watching out for not as much rain Anguilla, but a little bit more uh, around Guadalupe, Dominica, uh, Montserrat, we could get a couple couple showers, some spots over 25 millimeters of rain or over an inch of rain the next uh, few days. There's Dominica swinging down through uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Keep an eye on that blob that is just off to the east of us now. Those kind of flare up. It looks a little bit scarier this uh, morning. And from what I was watching last night, it should break apart, but still, some spots will get some heavier rain, and I'll monitor your uh, comments. Guyana, watching out for some rain, especially western sections. Suriname, not as much. Interior Venezuela, a significant flood threat. And then as I zoom down to Belize earlier, watching out for the flood potential. Parts of Honduras as well, well Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Not quite as much Panama, but Colombia, still some heavy areas of rain. In the ABC Islands, we may get clipped by a few showers the next few days. Mexico City, some downpours around. Yucatan Peninsula, more active over toward Cancun. Cozumel, not quite as much over toward Maradon Campeche, but here's some of that rain kind of up and around that we'll be watching over toward the uh, Houston area with some spots getting over two inches of rain. Some of that may even try to creep down through Corpus Christi and some additional rain. Uh, West Florida back toward coastal Mississippi, coastal uh, Alabama, and watching out for some spots that could get an inch of rain. Southern sections of uh, Louisiana. You can see again some of those, oh, that was yesterday's map. Some of those totals though still could be around. Don't oh, know that snuck in there. All right, 40 to 50 percent chance of some scattered areas of rain and storm. So not super high, but it is going to be a little more active for us in Jamaica. 
Some of us just baking, others getting popped with a couple storms. Isolated chance as we work our way through the Cayman Islands, but here's that elevated chance, Trinidad and Tobago. Tobago, not quite as much, a little bit more in Trinidad. Uh, so we're looking at more of a 50% chance in uh, Tobago, upwards of a 70% chance as we work our way into Trinidad today, monitoring isolated flooding. And you see tomorrow and Sunday, rain chance picks up for us in Barbados. So we'll see a better chance of getting some scattered areas of rain and storms. Same thing in St. Lucia with that tropical wave moving in and it just stays active from Grenada back through St. Vincent the Grenadines about a 40 to 50 percent chance of some showers moving by could get a little bit of lightning uh, mixed into that Martinique a 50 percent chance and you see tomorrow Dominica as that tropical wave moves in our rain chance is going to be up to 60 percent not all day but an elevated chance 40 to 50 percent chance back through Guadalupe then we swing to the north Antigua Barbuda about a 30 to 40 percent chance of some showers we do that again St. Kitts and Nevis Montserrat rain chance about 30 percent and Guilla and St. Bart's not as much a 20 to 30 percent chance in a 20 to 30 percent chance as well. St. Martin, Saba and Stasia 30 to 40 percent chance in Puerto Rico. We'll get some scattered storms uh, in some spots especially by the second half of the weekend. Same thing U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We'll be monitoring a few showers that will be around. Bahamas though the rain chance is not very high but it is hot for sure. We swing back through uh, the Turks and Caicos rain chance limited. Spotty storms, especially with the daytime heating, and we may even get a few at night as we work our way back through the Dominican Republic. 30% chance in Haiti and very hot. Belize, there's that very high chance of rain today, but it sticks around as we swing through the weekend for a change. So we are in that active pattern. Aruba, rain chance about 30%. And back through Carousel and Bonaire, about a 30 to 40% chance. Could get a couple of passing showers around. Guyana, northern and western sections, a better chance of rain. Rain chance not quite as high as we work our way into Suriname. Scattered storms across Cuba, especially central and eastern sections. There's that 80% chance, Costa Rica and Panama. 50 to 60% chance in Nicaragua, building the next two days and a 60 to 70 percent chance in Honduras, which I was highlighting earlier. 70 percent chance Guatemala and El Salvador monitoring those river crossings that could get a little bit more dangerous through the weekend. 60 to 70 percent chance of rain Mexico City more active across the Yucatan Peninsula as I was showing you. Northern Colombia rain chance this weekend 70 percent watching out for about a 60 to 70 percent chance northern Venezuela, central Venezuela, a better chance of that flooding and mainly dry for the most part as we work our way back through Bermuda. So tropical waves coming in, which is typical this time of year, but they are getting stronger with that, that flood potential getting higher, watching out for uh, development. So a lot of areas I'm watching, but that third wave that I showed you coming off the coast of Africa, that's the one that has a better chance of developing. That's what I'll cover further in the upcoming video. So thank you for sharing this information with others. Be safe in some of the rain, some of those areas of flooding, some of those tropical downpours. I'll be getting to your comments right after this. Have a good day ahead.